Hi, another video from Fast Tech. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix your PS4 if it has this error message. Um, it's basically going to tell you that it can't access system storage and you're going to get the error code CE34335-8 and this problem is caused due to a defective hard drive. Uh, so what happens is when the PlayStation 4 can't read the hard drive it doesn't start because a lot of the critical operating system files are located on the hard drive. So it does not boot and won't start till the hard drive is replaced with a working one. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix that today on your PS4. I'm also going to be adding links in the description for uh, har the hard drives for these PlayStation 4 units. Uh, we sell them on our website uh, and we have them in stock for PlayStation 4 Original, PlayStation 4 Slim and PS4 Pros. And I'm also going to be adding uh, the link for the update file that you're going to need um, after you've replaced the hard drive. This is a PS4 Slim um, and to get to its hard drive we're going to stand it up like so and on the top you're going to notice this piece here. This piece is removable. You just pull on it and it comes off. You got to pull it sideways and then up and then it comes off like so. It's an L-shaped piece. And be careful, you don't wanna break any of these clips because then it's not gonna hold if you do. Uh, then once we've removed that plastic cover, we're gonna turn to the side. And you're gonna see a Phillips screw here. We're gonna, take, we're gonna take a Phillips screwdriver and remove that screw. Okay. And then once that screw is removed, there's a band here what you're going to do is you're going to stick your finger in this band and just pull and the hard drive is going to come out like so. Now we have the hard drive out. Now to get the hard drive out of its enclosure, we're going to remove these four black screws. Uh, if you buy this website, uh, if you buy this hard drive from our website, we have the option of buying it with the enclosure or without the enclosure. So keep that in mind. We're going to remove the four Phillips screws that hold it in place. Oops. Once we've removed the screws, the hard drive should just come out like so. I'm gonna put the old hard drive on the side. And we're gonna put a replacement hard drive in. And put the screws in. So we install the screws. We're gonna stand up. We're gonna stand our PS4 up again. Line up the connectors. Once you stand, once you stood it up, you're gonna line up the connectors and then just push it in like so. And install our, our Phillips screw back. And finally, we're gonna install the hard drive cover back on. And the new hard drive is installed. Now the next step is to install the software on the PlayStation, which we're going to need to do to make this work. And I'm going to be showing you that in the next step. Once uh, we've installed the hard drive, we're going to plug the console in. And we're going to uh, plug it in on our TV, turn it on. And then it's going to take us to this screen, which it's going to show in a few seconds where it's going to ask us to install the, the system software update. It's going to say it can't start and it's going to require a system software update. Uh, and I'm going to be adding the instructions on, in, the, in the video description 
put a link to Sony's website where you can download the update and put it on the USB stick. You're gonna download the update, put it on a USB stick, plug it in the console, and make sure your controller is plugged in with a USB cable. Then you're going to press the PS button, this button right here, and then it's gonna take you to this screen. And it's gonna say connect the USB storage device. Well, yeah, you're gonna put the um, put the files on a USB stick, and then you're gonna press OK. You're gonna plug the USB stick in, in your PS4, press OK, and then it's going to start uh, looking for the update. Um, and then we're basically just gonna press yes. It's gonna install the update. The console is gonna restart and you're basically done. Um, so I'm just gonna show you guys the next screen and then it's gonna start the uh, initialization process. Uh, and then we're pretty much done at that point. And there you go. Okay, so now it's gonna say PS4 will be initialized, da da da, all data will be deleted. There's nothing on this hard drive anyway, so we're just gonna press yes. And now it's initializing. It's gonna do this and it's gonna restart. And then it's gonna take you to another screen where it's gonna install the software. Um, and basically that's all there's to it. It's gonna restart and uh, the rest of it's gonna be done by the PlayStation 4. You don't have to worry uh, about anything. It's just, you just have to press yes. Uh, I think you might have to press yes one more time. So uh, th there you have it guys, another video from Fast Tech. Um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and uh, share the video if you like it. So it did the update, and uh, now it looks like it's ready. Uh, now we basically just have to set it up. Um, English, United States. Next, it's gonna ask you to set up your Wi-Fi. And once you've done all that, um, you should be good to go. Uh, we're not gonna set up the Wi-Fi right now. Set up later, skip. Um, U.S. Canada, next, 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 here, there it is. So, looks like it works. We have a new hard drive in it. Uh, again, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Helps us out a lot. Thank you.